We're gonna be making hot skis ya ama piano like DJ Pizza. And guys, before I start with today's video, I've just released a new hot song on my music channel plus a free melody sample pack. Yes guys, check the song out and get a free melody sample pack. The melody sample pack download link will be on the comment section of the new hot song. Okay guys, enjoy. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Ambitious Kid and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make hot ski jam ama piano like DJ Pizza right here on Apple Studio Mobile for beginners. Yes guys, it's the tutorial you guys have been waiting for for a very long time. And guys, the good news is that I'm going to be giving away this hot DJ Pizza ama piano FOP project for to you guys for free. Yes guys, absolutely for free. But guys, before you download this hot DJ Pizza ama piano FOP, make sure that you subscribe and watch this video carefully because in this video i'm going to be giving you guys download password for this hot dj pizza i'm a piano fop okay guys let's get right into this hot i'm a piano tutorial Okay guys, so the first thing I started by doing to make this hot DJ Pizza Ama Piano beat on FL Studio Mobile is that I started with my hot hot drums which sound like this. Okay guys, so this is how my drums sound like. Let me increase the volume for that. Nice drums guys, those were nice Skija drums right there. And guys, let me quickly show you guys each instrument that I used in here, starting with the Skija perk followed by the kicks which I didn't actually use that's why I did the solo button right here on the corner and I have this Skija perk here another nice Skija perk there another perk here another perk there and the bell guys and what I did to the bells guys is that I just layered them here and there and there just like that guys nice and simple I have this weird skija sound thing which makes the beat sound dope guys like if you can hear it, it makes that hot rumbling sound at the background and I have this skija perk and another perk and this other skija clap guys and I actually didn't use this shaker here that's why I didn't layer anything there guys so that's how I made my hot percussions here guys so let's move on to the next instrument guys as I play the hot perks. So guys my next instrument are my shakers guys which sound like this. And then with the whole beat this is how they sound like. Nice hot shakers there guys and I use two bars guys to layer my shakers. For example, I used this round knob to make sure that it only fits two bars and then I started layering them one by one just like that guys so that they can make this hot skija shaker effect as you can hear them so that they can be that smooth guys. Moving on to my next instrument, I have my hot purity strings guys which sound like this.
wow guys those were hot smooth purity strings right there guys and what i actually did here guys is that i used this higher note followed by this second note the third note and the lower note guys below the c4 note right there guys and actually what i did here guys is that instead of tripling my strings i added one last bass string here guys so that my strings could sound even better than three strings guys the more you triple your strings or add them the more guys powerful the more power or the more powerful your string will become guys because if like let's make an example let's say i'm gonna use two strings it's gonna sound good guys but if you add three strings it's gonna sound even better guys and if you add four strings let me quickly undo that if you add four strings it's gonna sound even more cooler guys so that's why i layered all these strings like that guys hope you guys have learned something today okay guys so my next instrument is the lead tube and this is how the lead tube sounds like guys nice and smooth guys that was really hot and then this is how they sound like guys in solo nice guys those are nice hot lead tubes there and this is how i played them for the last time nice and simple guys but yet hot that was really intense so guys moving on to my next instrument after my hot lead tube i have the piano bell which sounds like this nice and smooth guys this is really hot this is how they sound like guys in solo meaning alone nice guys those were nice piano bells right there guys and what i actually did to the piano bells guys is that i used one note here as you can see i used one bar instead of using two bars i used one bar so that they can be spaced in between so that's how i made them sound this hot guys so moving on to my next instrument after my hot piano bells i have this hot piano here but I didn't actually use it guys, but I'm quickly going to show you guys how I played it. It's also hot guys. Wow, this is hot, but I'm quickly going to switch it off guys. It was actually a melody that I used here, but I'm not going to use it on this beat. So I'm quickly going to press this button so it can get switched off so we can move on to my next instrument so what i have here guys is that i'm quickly gonna jump to the electric pianos so this is how my electric pianos sound like guys nice and hot electric pianos guys and yet simple the notes that i used here guys were this higher note followed by this note and this other note below the c5 note just like that guys and what i actually did guys to make this piano to sound even better guys i added a ttc bass which is a bass that sounds like this and all together guys this is how they sound like nice and hot guys that was really intense right there guys wow that was fire and then followed by the vcf pad guys to make the melody sound super smooth guys so all in all guys this is how my piano sounds like wow guys that was really fire that was really fire guys we're really cooking up fire today okay guys moving on to my next instrument after my hot smooth pianos here i have my log drums guys the log drums and this is how 
my log drums sound like guys we're gonna start with my first log drum which is the zen log and then this is how it sounds like and then this is how i played it guys wow guys wow those were deadly lock drums guys that those were hot lock drums and guys let me quickly show you guys my drums here i only have this small snare here guys i'm quickly gonna put the snare on too so that it can add more of that vibe and more of that fire to the beat guys so moving on to my next lock drums i have the zen lock again let's call this the zen lock 2 and this is how it sounds like guys the zen lock 2 guys it's for boosting my first lock drum guys it makes my first zen lock hit harder guys when i mix both lock drums so that's why i use two lock drums and this is how they sound like fire guys that was really intense right there guys moving on to my third lock drum guys because you know guys i like when the lock drums hit harder guys so that's why i always add more and more lock drums guys to the beat so here guys we have the smooth dub bass for the lock drum so that it can boost the lock drum and make it hit even harder guys so this is how it sounds like Just like that guys that was really hot right there guys so that's the job that the dub bass does guys it boosts my lock drums even more to hit harder guys and the other instruments i have here guys are my hot fx's here guys as you can see there's an fx there and an fx here too and an fx there guys so i'm quickly gonna play you guys my first fx let me quickly turn them on like that. So this is my first FX. Just like that, guys. That was my first FX. I have my second FX right here. Just like that, guys. Just like that. And then I have my third FX called the long mixer reverse, guys. And this is how it sounds like. nice guys and my fourth fx guys sounds like this nicely done guys nicely done and my fourth log drum guys i have the eater base here and what i actually did here guys if you can hold this small knob down there guys as you can see i pulled it from down there at my left side you'll see a round knob that you use to pull and then i use these things guys to draw my velocity for example let me quickly do this and then you can actually click these things guys and draw them the way you want them to sound like so i'm quickly gonna undo that since we're not gonna use that guys so that's how i did this hot lock drum guys hope you guys have learned on how to make this kinds of log drums so this is how it sounds like nice guys nice this is hot guys this beat is really killing me guys like this is fire okay guys that's how to make a hot dj pizza i'm a piano type beat right here on apple studio mobile for beginners guys